Game, game Dev, dev journey. journey. Hey everyone, if you want to add some real polish to your games, then you need grass and foliage that skews and bends in the wind. In this tutorial, I will show you how to implement the skend effect to give your games that extra level of interactivity so that your player can have an effect on the game environment. Keep watching to find out how. Hi everyone and welcome to another short tutorial on Construct 3 with Rob from Game Dev Journey. I'm going to be showing you how to use a simple skend effect for foliage or grass that is moving in the wind. Skend is a combination of the words skew and bend and the effect can be downloaded from the Construct 3 asset store. If you go to the add-ons page and search for skinned you'll find one called simple skin and here it tells you simple skin effect simplified for the typical swaying of grass or foliage and it works with effects so you would go ahead and download it I've already done this then in construct you would go to menu view add-on manager and you would click on install new add-on and select it and install it. Now I've already installed it here you can see simple skinned is already installed so I'm going to go ahead and start a new project and show you how the effect works. I'll just call this project skinned and create. Right so here we've got our empty layout. Let's go ahead and add some grass so I'm just going to double click here and choose a sprite and I call it grass and say so, okay click anywhere let's choose this green color and all I'm gonna do is draw a thick line um, that and there we go and that should do just fine okay um, and we can always make it a bit narrower and a bit longer okay but that's going to be our grass and what we're going to do now is add the skinned effect to the grass so if I search for our simple skin there it is and I click add now we've got some properties to play with one of these here this is the actual skending this the skewing and bending and at the moment it's set to zero because we're not going to set it directly we're going to set it in code and it's going to get its value how much it must skew and bend from the sign behavior which we're going to add to the grass so if we go to the grass and add the sign behavior click and add we then get these properties to play with now usually we would just change the horizontal or vertical and the object we're adding it to would then move horizontally or vertically but we don't want the grass just to move horizontally we want it to bend and skew horizontally so we're going to take the value of the sine wave and send that to the scanned parameter and change this number according to the value of the sine wave and these numbers we can also play with um, perhaps we want a bit of randomness um, for our movement so how often here um, how often we move maybe we add a little bit of randomness there how much we move across we add a bit of randomness and this magnitude is too big uh, let's make that smaller and then the value the, between the choice between the sizes we want a little bit of randomness there as well because wind is not uniform you know it changes direction and it changes wind strength so we want to try and make this look natural so now we have our properties set up now if we go to our code we can say every tick we want to um, add we want to set the parameter so set um, set effect parameter and we want to set the the name of the effect is simple skinned the parameter is that zero which we saw and we want to change its value by the value of the sine wave so we want to get the grass which is itself 
we want to get the sine wave property and we want to get the current value of the sine wave. So if we go down and run, we should see our grass waving. Okay, and there we get the grass waving in the wind. Okay, now what if we wanted the grass to move faster as the player goes through it? We can do that as well. Let's just see what would happen now if we duplicate the grass and add a few more um, a few more blades. Let's see how that looks. And that looks really quite nice. All right, so as a player rushes through this grass, we want the grass to respond to that. So let's add a player to the layout. So let's add another sprite. We'll call the sprite the player. Let's click here. We'll just make the player red. And I'm not going to waste much time on designing a player. We'll make him a bit taller than the grass. There we go. And he's going to rush through the grass, and the grass should respond to that. Well, let's make all this grass a little bit smaller. kind of messed that up but we'll see what it looks like okay and then our player can be a little bit smaller too let's have a look how we're doing okay we got there we go all right so now when the player moves through this grass the grass must respond as if um, the added forces of the player rushing past has made it wave faster so we'll add another event here that when the player collides, um, when the player uh, collides with the grass, then the the grass sign period. So we'll say sign uh, set the sign period. We'll increase it. So it's, it's the sine wave is um, moving faster, okay, for 0.8 seconds. But then to allow that to take effect and be seen, we need to make the system wait until that effect has happened. So we'll have to make the system wait 0.8 seconds, and then we'll set the grass back to its normal sine wave period, which was two. Okay, so now let's see what happens. Now we've got the player. Uh, of course, we need to add eight direction movement behavior to the player so that he can move. So let's add that. Okay, so now when the player moves through the grass, we get the grass responding to the player moving through. Okay, so slow waving grass, and as the player moves through, it increases. And all you would do is play with those numbers to get the effect looking the way you want it to look. Well, I hope you learned something. If you did, please like the video and consider subscribing to support me. Goodbye.